Well, Colton, Kevin, congratulations, guys. The two of you are going forward in the third and final round of the Young Guns competition. Now, Bladesmiths, we want to send you back to your home forges for four days to build this. The German Longsword. The German Longsword traces its roots back to 14th century Europe. This two-handed weapon was powerful enough to deliver deadly blows, and its double-edged blade inflict deep wounds and slashes against any enemy that came across its path. The massive blade was so powerful that skilled warriors had to train extensively in the art of longsword fencing to master its strength. While this weapon was no longer used in combat, longsword fencing is practiced around the world today. Both of you should be on your A-game and bring back your very best work. Because at the end of the day, only one of you is going to be leaving here with his second Fortune Fire Champion title and a check for $10,000. Blaze Smith, good luck. We will see you in four days. My name is Kevin Burgess. Um, I am 22. I'm from Nacogdoches, Texas. I'm currently a full-time college student and a, a part-time bladesmith. The last time I was here, it was a blast, but I was about as entertaining as uh, watching paint dry. I decided that if I was going to come back on here, I was going to try and show people that I do have somewhat of a personality. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a really long blade. If I mess up on a measurement, then it's all over. So it's just kind of check it constantly, you know, see where I am, see whether or not I've hit parameters, and just keep on going from there. It's about to go into heat treat. Just straight up, straight into the oil. <sighs> So not quite perfect. I'm noticing that towards the tip, it just barely kicks off to the side. <sighs> At this point, that blade is a spring, and it just keeps on going back to exactly where it was, and I can't seem to get it to go back uh, straight. I couldn't get it out, and I just got to live with it but it does hurt my chances at winning. I'm going to add little cubic zirconium diamonds to the handle. Cool. I'm pretty worried that the warp will send me home, but I'm hoping that my attention to detail on the handle might be able to carry me to a win. My name's Colton Arias, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Nebraska. When I first won Force and Fire, I was 18 years old. I was barely legal, but now I'm back. I'm 20 years old and about 20 pounds heavier. So I've grown physically into a larger human, and I've also grown my skills in bladesmithing. From experience, I know the greatest challenge with any longsword build, especially if I'm doing it out of Damascus, is going to be keeping it straight and making sure the temper and the heat treat are spot on so it does not break. Plenty of things can go wrong when you're quenching a sword. It could crack, it could warp, it could fracture. Let's hope none of that happens because everything is riding on this quench. Awesome, perfect. This thing is massive. In a boat like this, a million things can go wrong. If you make one false step or try to rush it too much, you could ruin the whole thing in the last step or in the first step. I'm completely done with the sword. Fit and finish is damn near perfect. That's a legendary sword. Young Fortune Fire champions, welcome to the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your German longswords will do, I'm going to take your weapon and deliver some lethal blows on this big carcass. Colton, you're first. Ready for this? Do it. All right, Carlton, let's talk about your German longsword. Every slice was a very deep slice. Overall, the balance, the feel of your sword, you will kill. Kevin, your turn, you ready? You know it. All right, Kevin, those are very deep cuts. Almost got through the pig of the first strike. Now, earlier, prior to this, you had a little bend at the tip, but it didn't get any worse. Overall, your weapon, sir, you will kill. Thank you very much. Doug almost went through my pig on the first slice. I was really kind of 
yeah. But it was not quite enough to distract him from the warp and the sword, so he did end up noticing that, and you know, that could be what sends me home. Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test, the throne chop. In order to test the strength of your edge as well as the overall construction of your German longswords, I'll be bashing them into this throne. Colton, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right. All right, Colton, this is a, it's a great looking blade, man. I like your Damascus pattern. Uh, it's still nice and straight. Didn't take much damage beyond a slight glinting. So, well done. Thank you. All right, Kevin, you're up, man. You ready? You know it. All right. All right, Kevin. Well, your sword is all in one piece. Again, the slightest of glinting on the edge from contact with the wood, but nothing I would call damage. You had a slight warp to it coming in. That hasn't changed, it's the same. All in all, you know, I think you did a good job on your grinds. The weight is good, and it held up great in the strength test. Nice job. Thank you very much. All right, young guns. This is the sharpness test, the cowhide bag slice. Colton, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, Colton. Your edge cuts cleanly, it's razor sharp. In thrusting, drawing it back, and cutting. The balance is good, and overall, sir, it will cut. Thank you. Kevin, your turn, you ready? You know it. Let's do this. All right, Kevin, your edge, razor sharp. It cut cleanly all through the bags, and overall, your weapon, you will cut. <laughs> Thank you. Blazemiths, throughout this competition, you both have amazed us tremendously. But as you know, only one of you can go home with the win. The judges have talked it over, and they made a final decision. The Bladesmith going home with a check for $10,000, and his second Forge and Fire champion title is... Colton, congratulations. Kevin, you fought hard and you brought us a beautiful blade, but unfortunately, your time in this competition has ended. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Peace. It turns out that I am not gonna be the uh, two-time youngest champion, but uh, losing to Colton, he's an amazing smith, does amazing work, and I'm glad it was him and not somebody else. Colton, that means you are the youngest two-time Forge of Fire champion, and you got yourself another check for $10,000. Congratulations. Being the youngest two-time Forge of Fire champion feels amazing. I mean, this is probably one of the closest competitions that I have seen, and um, to come out on top, it, it just feels great. Really, really well done. My name is Colton Arias, and I'm the youngest two-time Forge and Fire champion. <laughs>